Hi everyone, a warm welcome to you for visiting this stethoscope. Today we are going to be going through the first part of section 1 that is logical reasoning which includes critical thinking and problem solving questions. So first things first, some of the general tips. So logical reasoning is all about the critical thinking and problem solving questions. The first thing that I'll say is you don't need any prior knowledge to solve this part of the exam. You just need to go in, analyze data and come to conclusion. Number two, if you are stuck on any given question and you are spending too much on it, just leave and move on because it's not worth wasting your time. The third thing is all questions are worth of exact same amount. So you should do as many easy questions as possible that you know you'll get right and then move to the difficult ones later. The thing is you need to learn quickly. You're gonna have to quickly read a passage that might be either short or long and you wanna take out the key points and that main conclusion out at the last. So improving your reading skill will definitely be something useful here. The fifth thing is you must know what the question is asking. Under the critical thinking heading, there's going to be lots of different type of questions they could ask for. For example, what are the main conclusions of this passage? Which of these statements, if true, would either weaken or strengthen the argument of the passage? Which of these statements would be the biggest flaw for the passage? So you want to make sure what the different types are and you should know what you are going to do in order to answer those questions. And lastly, you are not allowed to use any calculator. So do not practice with a calculator. Throw away your calculators in a drawer and focus on your mental maths. Obviously, it will help you in physics and math section in section four as well. Okay, so enough much of the general tips. Let's get familiar to the logical reasoning questions and know how you can prepare for it. Now, the question arises that how to study for logical reasoning. So for logical reasoning, you don't actually need to memorize things. You just have to develop certain skills to get the question right. There are seven type of questions and each question have a very specific strategy to be solved. If you have time, I recommend you to study thinking skills by the Cambridge. It has around 300 pages. I have provided the link of this book in the description. You can download the PDF for free. This Cambridge book really helps you to build up your mind for critical thinking questions because it really helps you to master the thought process. It guides step by step that what is a conclusion? What are the flaws? What is an argument? But yes, it takes a lot of time. And if you don't have that much time, you can simply practice questions using my upcoming videos or from I'm at Pass Papers, BMAT, or from TSA. The next type of logical reasoning question is problem solving. Being a doctor is all about solving problems of a patient. If a patient comes to you with a variety of signs and symptoms and from the limited information, it's up to you that how you come out to a diagnosis. In the IMAT, they can't get you to diagnose patient, but they can test your ability to solve the problems where the information isn't all there and the approach to the problem is hidden. Unlike critical thinking, there isn't a question pattern that you can spot straight away. The problems are much more varied and so going in with an open mind is vital. Having said that, there are three types of questions they tend to ask. Classic problem solving, like you do in any maths exam, just a little bit harder. Interpreting data from tables and graphs. Spatial reasoning. You don't need any previous knowledge because everything you require to answer is given in the question. I suggest you to practice more and more to familiarize yourself with different type of questions and certainly we'll be practicing these questions together in my upcoming videos as well. Till then, take care of yourselves and thanks for watching.